Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue square, this uh, yellow triangle, and this uh, purple uh, triangle as well, fully confined uh, in a rectangle A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, blue square is 196 uh, centimeters square, and the area of this uh, yellow triangle is uh, 56 uh, centimeters square. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, purple uh, shaded uh, triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I am going to share with you two different approaches to solve this problem. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our action plan. Since we are interested in finding the area of this uh, purple triangle, so therefore we want to calculate uh, this uh, base and this uh, height uh, of this uh, purple uh, triangle. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, blue square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to S square, where S uh, represents the side length of the square. And in our case, the area is 196, so therefore I can write uh, 196 equal to S square. Let's go ahead and take the square root on uh, both sides to undo this uh, square. So therefore, our side length S turns out to be 14. So therefore, the side length uh, of this uh, blue square turns out to be 14 uh, across the board, as you can see. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow triangle uh, AEF. And uh, we are interested in finding the height uh, H uh, of this uh, yellow triangle. Let me call this height uh, lowercase h. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times base uh, times height. In our case, our height is uh, h. And this uh, side length uh, EF is the base uh, of this uh, yellow triangle, which is uh, 14. And the area of this uh, triangle is uh, 56. So therefore, let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So area in our case is uh, 56 equal to a half uh, times our base is 14 times our height uh, is uh, h and if we simplify everything uh, on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 7 uh, times h let's divide both sides by 7 so therefore our height h value turns out to be 8 centimeter so therefore we can replace this height h by 8 centimeter and now we can see that this uh, side length uh, DE is uh, 14 and this uh, side length uh, EA is uh, 8. So therefore this whole side length AD is going to be 14 plus 8 is going to make uh, 22 centimeter. And now since we are dealing with this uh, rectangle ABCD, this uh, side length uh, has got to be equal to this side length uh, if uh, this side length is uh, 22 then uh, this side length uh, BC is going to be 22 as well. And now let me show you the alternative approach uh, to find uh, this uh, side length uh, AD of this rectangle ABCD. Let's assume that this uh, whole side length uh, is uh, A. And now let's focus on this uh, trapezoid uh, DAFG. And now let's recall the trapezoid uh, definition. Trapezoid is also called uh, trapezium, a quadrilateral with at least uh, one pair of uh, parallel sides. And here we can see that this side length AD and this side length uh, FG are parallel to each other. And the total area of this uh, trapezoid is going to be this uh, sum of individual areas, 196 plus uh, 56. Let me go ahead and write down uh, 196 uh, plus uh, 56 uh. and now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula area equals to height h uh, times a plus b divided by 2 and we know our this uh, side length uh, a d is a i'm going to call uh, this side length f g as our b and this uh, height uh, of this uh, 
trapezoid is uh, 14. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. Area of the trapezoid is uh, 252. Let me go ahead and write down 252. Our height is uh, 14 times uh, A plus uh, B value is uh, 14 over here all over divided by 2. Now let's go ahead and simplify. We got 252 on the left hand side and if we simplify the right hand side that's going to give us 7 times uh, A plus uh, 14. Now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 7. This 7 and 7 is gone. So on the left hand side this becomes 36 uh, equals to A plus uh, 14. Let's subtract 14 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore our A value turns out to be 22 centimeter. So therefore we can see that our this whole length uh, AD which is A turns out to be equal to 22. And now we are going to calculate the base of this uh, purple triangle. Let me call this base uh, as x and now let's focus on these uh, two triangles this uh, yellow triangle and this uh, white uh, triangle we can see that this angle is uh, congruent to this uh, angle since they are uh, our corresponding angles and likewise uh, this angle is congruent to this angle as well since they are corresponding angles as well and these are our 90 degrees uh, angles so therefore we conclude that these uh, two triangles, uh, this uh, yellow triangle uh, AEF uh, and this uh, white triangle uh, FGC are uh, similar uh, triangles according to angle-angle similarity theorem. Now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, side length uh, of this rectangle is X. So therefore uh, this whole uh, side length uh, has got to be X. Uh, as well since we are dealing with the rectangle and we know that this side length uh, DG is uh, 14 so therefore uh, this side length uh, GC has got to be X minus 14 so I'm gonna write down X minus uh, 14 so therefore we are going to have a uh, proportions so let's write it down uh, X minus 14 divided by 14 let me write down this ratio X minus uh, 14 divided by 14 is going to be equal to this another ratio 14 divided by 8 let me write down 14 divided by 8 let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 14 to undo this 14 at the bottom so this 14 and 14 is uh, gone so therefore on the left hand side uh, x minus 14 turns out to be 196 divided by 8 and now in this uh, next step uh, 196 divided by 8 could be reduced to 49 divided by 2 let's go ahead and add 14 on both sides this is gone so x uh, is equal to 14 plus uh, 49 divided by 2 and now let's focus on the right uh, hand side i have copied down over here and i added these numbers and that turns out to be 77 divided by 2. So therefore our x value turns out to be 77 divided by 2 centimeter. So therefore I can replace this uh, x by 77 divided by 2 centimeter. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, purple triangle ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again. Area equals to a half times base uh, times height. And in our case, our base is 77 divided by 2 and our height is uh, 22. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So the area of this uh, purple uh, triangle is going to be a half times our base is uh, 77 divided by 2 times our height uh, is uh, 22. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side, uh, our this area is going to be 847 divided by 2. Or that could be written as our area is going to be equal to 423.5 centimeters square. 
So that's the area of this uh, purple triangle turns out to be 423.5 centimeters square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.